going on everybody welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we are actually in my garage again so I have been in a organization mood mood I guess you want to call it organization mood and uh, just been doing some stuff with uh, cleaning up my garage, cleaning up my shed, uh, getting stuff organized. I, you know, just so much clutter I had in my garage and I uh, needed to get rid of it. Um, so here we are. I mean, I finally got some uh, shelving back there, that one, this one, and this one right over here. Um, so I can be able to organize my, my uh, garage. And it's still not 100%, it's still a work in progress. But now I kind of have to put this on hold because of this. So yeah, uh, coming home from work uh, on August the 16th, uh, which was Monday, I kind of got in a wreck and now I'm still waiting on what is going to happen with the insurance. Um, so I don't know if the car is going to be totaled or not, which I'm still waiting on. But by the end of the week, today is Tuesday the 17th. The accident happened yesterday, the 16th of August. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bad, man. The whole uh, radiator support is done. It's broken. Radiator leaked automatically as soon as I uh, rear-ended that other car. Uh, so what had actually happened was there was a car that was trying to get over to the right lane and he went through a, a, a turning lane to turn left. He went through that turning lane, cut off a couple cars. Everybody slammed on their brakes. I slammed on my brakes. Unfortunately, my car did not stop fast enough and I rear-ended the other guy. Uh, the guy that was in front of me. Um, the guy literally came out of a car, out of his car, wasn't screaming or yelling and anything, uh, asked if we were okay and, and whatnot. Everybody was okay. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got injured. Thank God for that. And, uh, you know, the first thing that he said to me when he got out of his car was, look, man, I'm not placing you at fault. We both know that it was that car that was cutting off everybody. So, you know, I'm not mad at you. So now, here we are. I'm waiting for insurance to find out what's going on with the car, if um, it's going to get totaled or not, and uh, what's going to happen, because I'm still paying on the car. And, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. But, um... Now I got to put this on hold because I have to, yeah, now I got to put this on hold uh, with organizing my garage because I have my other car, which is uh, this one here that I'm working on right now, try to get it back on the road. Uh, so I was using this car before. Now it's on jack stands and I have to get it back on the road. So power steering pump basically took a crap. I got to replace the power steering pump. I have uh, coilover shocks on it, which I'm removing the coilovers. Then I'm putting the stock um, Nissan 350Z suspension on to get it back on the road. And I'm going to sell the coilovers uh, because my intention now is to basically use this car for the time being until I am able to buy a truck. So that's what I'm basically working on right now. Uh, the payment that I was making on the Volkswagen, I'm going to be basically putting that aside if the insurance decides to total it. Um, so I will be putting the money that I was putting towards that car as the monthly payment. I'll put that to the side and um, be using that as a down payment for a truck but uh the main reason why i'm making this video today was not to talk to you guys about me cleaning my garage me and my um organization cleanliness mode 
uh, or what happened to the car in the accident. Again, everybody's fine with the in, in the accident. Nobody got injured. Nobody got hurt. No bodily damages. No nothing. The only thing that got hurt was my car and the guy's car that I hit, which those are replaceable. Thank God nobody got hurt. Uh, but the main reason why I'm making this video today is because we got a box today. And the box that we got today is that one right there that says to me on it yeah <laughs> so I'm super excited about it uh, so I had actually emailed uh, to Mia not emailed I'm sorry I had looked on a uh, to Mia's website to find out uh, what part what stuff they had and this was something that they didn't have in stock at the time but I could select something on their website which would notify me when this piece part box was available and um, when they notified when I got an email from them stating that this was available I went on their website right away and I ordered it and then I didn't hear nothing of it I didn't hear nothing like what the hell was going on <laughs> so I didn't hear nothing then all of a sudden I end up getting an email uh, August the 15th August 15th I end up getting an email from them stating like hey your package is shipped and uh, here's your tracking number I'm like okay I ordered the same about like a week or so ago and uh, it's here so here's the box here's the blade let's open it up All right. I'm just trying to cut the tape, really. All right. So now that we got the box cut open, let's uh, let's see what's inside here. And again, guys, sorry for the lighting. I I don't usually do my videos in um, this type of lighting in the garage, but I figured, hey, I'm gonna make a video now. So here's the box. We got a whole bunch of peanuts. And what do you guys see right there? What do you guys see right there? What do you guys see right there? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's grab that. I don't want peanuts flying around everywhere in my garage. Oh. 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 Look at that. Yeah. So this is the one ten scale RC rally car cockpit set here we have everything that's going to be inside the cockpit um, this is so this is actually for the TTO2 Subaru that I'm working on um, again man once I found out that this thing was available I ordered it right away. I'm trying to get some uh, scale look into my RCs, man. And uh, I want to see if there's anything else in the box. Nah, man, just peanuts. <laughs> so, and not even peanuts that you could eat, man. You uh, can't even eat these things. Um, so, yeah, once uh, I found out that, um, you know what I'm actually going to do? And there ain't nothing else in the box. So, um, so yeah, I mean, once I found out from, uh, once I got that notification, that email from Tamiya letting me know that this thing was available, I completely jumped on it right away. And um, I ordered it. I mean, I think it 
came out to twenty dollars and some odd cents. Um, so I, pfft, yeah, I jumped on it right away, so I could put a cockpit in the um, in the Subaru. Uh, I think what I should have done was probably ordered two of them, so I could also put one in the Evo. But um, I didn't think that far ahead, and uh, I might still be able to go on to Tamiya's website and order a um, and actually order another one so hopefully they do have them available on their website I directly went directly to Tamiya's website and uh, I ordered it so I'm gonna open this thing up and we're gonna check inside and see what is the deal here, what's going on with that. Cause my intention here is to literally paint everything and uh, try to get this thing looking good. Uh, try to make it look as scale as possible. Get some, um, get some looks on the inside of the car. So let's go on ahead, open this up and check it out man So that's the uh, part that goes inside and here we have the instructions. Here we have the instructions on how everything gets put together and whatnot. You, they give you, uh, looks like they'll give you some screws so you can put the hel helmets on and everything and, um, and whatnot. It does look like it just gets, um, it does look like it just gets some, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing that's like Velcro or something right here that gets put on the sides so it can just stick inside the body there. And that's pretty much about it. So, I mean, this thing does look like it's, uh, this thing does look like it's basic common sense on how to put it together and everything. Um, but I do want to paint cockpit with plastic paints to match the interior color of the car um, so what I got to do is look up the uh, rally drivers from the Subaru the Monte Carlo the 99 Monte Carlo um, I got to look up those drivers and see what uniforms or what suits they were uh, racing suits they were using um, for that particular vehicle and uh, from there I'll be able to paint the cockpit of what exactly those colors are and try to keep it all matched up nicely and have that looking good. So basically, guys, girls, that's, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm at with this video. Um, if I get any new information about the, uh, you know, what happened with the car, if you guys are interested, uh, if you guys want to know any more information about what happened, um, which I'll probably end up telling you in my next video, uh, then, you know, let me know down in the, <laughs> down in the comments section. Um, and if you guys haven't yet, please hit that like button, subscribe, man, because especially now, I, uh, I need to get a little more motivated in, uh, getting back into this hobby man because right now especially with this accident that happened and everything i i just like kind of don't feel like doing anything to be honest and uh i don't like feeling like that you know i love the hobby i love doing this and uh i gotta get back into it man and again if you guys could just help me out hit that like button subscribe hit the bell notification man when a new video comes out you guys will get notified about it um and if you guys haven't noticed yet, I we do I do have an Instagram and a Twitter that I also post on there. And of course, we have the Facebook page 
uh, RC Car Garage. And uh, I also have another Facebook page that is, uh, I think it's called RC Rally Cars. I'll have it all, all in the description below. So you guys can just click on it and go and check it out. Um, so I will be posting this rally car on that page also for the RC rally cars and um, and whatnot. So for right now, guys, girls, thank you for watching. And uh, if you haven't yet, you know what to do. I'll put a link here for uh, another video that you guys might want to see. Uh, RC News, I will be doing another video of RC News. I just have to, again, get back into the motivation for it, man, because I, I know this accident happened yesterday, which usually Mondays is when I do the RC News, but <sighs> with stuff that happened with this accident, man, I uh, haven't been able to. So this package came in today. Uh, there is going to be another package coming in. I'm not telling you what it is. Uh, it's no big deal, really, but... Once my garage is nice and set up and it doesn't look like this, peanuts, uh, <laughs> uh, if it, when it doesn't look like this, I'll be able to use that other one in here. So, with that being said, again, guys, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you guys in another video. You guys all have a good night and be safe.